Hey everyone, Case Man Rules here. Today's video tutorial is about a great program I found on the internet the other day called Blogdesk. Blogdesk is an excellent program for avid bloggers and people that like to blog a lot on their website or whatever, and it gives you the ability to blog right from your desktop without having to go in to the control panel or the, de uh, the dashboard of your uh, blogging software on your website because you can do it all from right here and the greatest thing is that there's no loss of features when using this program it's not like you are losing the ability to do something by using this instead of going to the website now what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to show you guys how to get it how to install it and then run through the quick features that are available with the program and um, how you're going to be able to use it every day to fill your needs so first go to blogdesk.org which will of course be in the description and go right on over to download if you want you can read up on it a little bit if you need more info but we're just gonna go right to download right down here you see download blogdesk 2.8 just click on that and the download will begin it's really simple so just download it it's a very small file because it's an installer and this will just go really quick right here and I'm not even getting very good speeds, it'll be much faster for you guys, probably. And just about done, here we go. Okay, now go to your downloads folder, or wherever you saved it, and there it is, blogdesk284, or 2.84 is what it is. Just double click it to install it, and it says that it's already running for me, but it's a basic install for you, so it's not that hard. So once you've got it installed, it, it's of course a really easy install, just like every other program you've ever installed before. And right down here, this is the interface. So first you can see that you can put in your title of your blog post. It gets you right started right on what you want to do. So since this is going to be fresh on your mind, it's great that it's first. We'll call this test post. And one of the great things down here, now that you've gone to your post, is a lot of people like to use the more tag that makes it so that on the front page of their blog it only shows a portion of the post and then the rest of it will be displayed after clicking on the post on the front page so what you can do is type in your post here or at least the start of it and just blah 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 whatever you want and then um, once you're done that's all the stuff that you want to put on the front page go to the more tab right here and type in the rest of it now once you go, it'll look just like that on your website. It'll show the title and this right here, but then when they click on the title and it goes to the post page, it'll show both of these mixed together. You can also use an excerpt, which is where you would type everything in the post section and then write an excerpt up and that's what would be displayed on your front page and then this would be displayed on your actual post page. They, people do this because they like to write summaries of the whole post. Um, that sums up the whole post and then the whole post would be just right there. Um, after you've got your whole post typed and everything, it's time to set it up and I'm also going to show you a couple features in a minute. Uh, make sure you pick your category over here. I have this set up for my blog so these are the three categories I have right here. I don't have real in-depth categories, I just like to organize it. So April 2009 is when I'm doing this. Leave these three the same probably unless you don't want to allow comments, allow pings and you probably want to publish it after upload so it doesn't save it to drafts. Leave this alone because this is generally for editing posts that you've already posted and that'll change the date and time to the present time. I like to check that off though because I don't like people knowing that I edited the post because it's generally a typo or something. Okay, um, now we're going to go over some basic features. That's, that's just basic blogging, now we're going to go over the features. Say you're posting and you want to add an image. Right up here you see image. Just click on it and you can browse for it in your computer. And if you don't want to browse for it and you want to use a link off the internet, click the little arrow and go to external link. And it's got a nice setup for you right there where you can enter the website, the alternate text, and all that. Um, you've got a link inserting right there, just like on um, website. Um, so you just type in your link in the description and it'll put it right in there, all set up. You can also insert HTML just the way it is. Very great, and it's very easy. Um, you also, at least I do because I run WordPress, have special options if you need to do custom fields or post passwords. This is great because custom fields uh, makes it so that you can use all your um, add-ons, like if you have any add-ons for helping you post, 
like say you use Twitter, you can um, tell it to Twitter the post by right from here if you know that code for that add-on. So it's really great like that. This program is available for many different blog softwares. If you go to manage blogs, which you're going to have to do to start it up, you can click new and type in your name of your blog. So I'll just do test because it's not going to really exist. Type in the blog address, which is your website. So I'll just do mine because I don't know if it'll let me go on with it if I don't type in a valid one or not. Well, I typed it wrong, but it will. And then right here you can select your um, blog type. As you can see, there are quite a few different types this works with. WordPress, obviously the most popular. You also have movable type, expression engine, Drupal, serendipity, Lodgesome, uh, Daskblog, blog.de, twade.net, myblog.de, and myblog.es. So lots of different um, softwares that you can use. It also has the old version of WordPress and the new version of WordPress. I'm running the new version. If you just click on that, your entry point, this will most likely stay the same. Click next, your login and password. Type in your login and password for the um, login, like to get to your dashboard where you can edit the post and stuff like that. Uh, your blog ID, uh, you can most of the time get, get blog ID. It won't get mine because I didn't enter a real website. And that's it. Um, you can also get your categories and all that. Those will get automatically. And just do the test upload, just click buttons and finish. And you just added a new blog. And you can obviously host multiple blogs, which makes it really easy to take care of everything that you need to do. So thank you for watching this video tutorial, everyone on Blogdesk, a great free software program for editing blogs and uploading new posts. This has been Case of Man Rules Tutorial. Please subscribe to my videos if you like them, rate, comment, and go to my website, um, http colon slash slash Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.